The opening of Season 7 of the Big Bang Theory spin-off Young Sheldon concentrated on unimportant characters. Despite the fact that there are just a few episodes left to conclude the plot, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Season 7 of Young Sheldon ties up a number of storylines, but the season finale of the Big Bang Theory spin-off, for some reason, centered on the show's least significant relationship. The show's emphasis has shifted from its titular character, Young Sheldon, to the rest of the Cooper family with each parsing season. Season 1 of Young Sheldon mostly revolved on Sheldon's childhood pranks, but in Season 6, this spin-off put the titular scientific prodigy on the back burner to focus on Mary and George Esser, his marital problems, Missy's rebellion as a teenager, and Georgie's journey through parenting. Because of this, Sheldon was almost completely absent from the Season 6 finale of Young Sheldon, as he and his mother Mary were traveling to Germany when a tornado devastated their hometown. The spin-off has been able to handle the choice to decenter Sheldon without any issues. Despite Sheldon's status as the show-stopping protagonist from that previous comedy, his relatives may be every bit as interesting. Even though Sheldon gets less screen time, it has been entertaining to watch the likes of Missy, Georgie, Mary, and George Essar, despite their chaos. One episode of Season 7, A Wiener Schnitzel and Underwear in a Tree demonstrates, however, that this is not always the case. Season 7 of Young Sheldon centered on the relationship between Dale and Connie. Despite the fact that it is the least significant plot point in the program, Connie and Dale are among the many supporting characters in Young Sheldon, although they aren't exactly the show stealers. Despite Sheldon's central role, a spin-off involving Georgie and Mandy, and George Esser, is impending death, the season opener focused on the relationship between Dale and Connie. The episode's major conflict Sheldon's grandma getting into her hundredth quarrel with her boyfriend wasn't engaging enough, despite the enduring charm of Craig T. Nelson and any parts as Connie and Dale, respectively. Since the episode was preoccupied on Connie and Dale's disagreement over Joe, viewers were deprived of Sheldon's time in Germany and Mandy and Georgie's adjustment to living with more people. It was an unusual choice considering how little screen time George S.R. has, how important Sheldon's trip to Germany is to him and how much more at stake are Georgie and Manti's parenting battles. Since the deaths of young Sheldon's grandfather George S.R. and his elder brother Sheldon don't significantly affect Sheldon's future, Mimo and her on-again, off-again partner aren't major players in the show. In addition, the dynamic between their relationships is becoming old. The pattern of Connie breaking up with Dale and then getting back together over and again throughout the last four seasons of the show is becoming old. So, it's time for Young Sheldon Season 7 to move on from the two supporting characters that aren't crucial to the prequel to The Big Bang Theory.